We'll take a look at what happened. Seriously, £482,118 in the first month, and I'm simply blown away. Wow, I just, I mean, I can't believe it. In only three days, I made 950,000 rupees. I'm, um, thank you. I honestly, I can't believe it, Britain Efford. I can't believe it. It was just a few sort of simple directions. Click my mouse a few times and, uh, well, here we are. Thank you. Thank you, Brit Method. Hi. I'm Charlie. I've been using the Brit Method recently and I've gained 450,000 pounds. And I am simply blown away. 480, 482, look at that, 480 bloody two, that is not a scam, definitely. Hi. No. Well, welcome to a brand new job lab with me, Alexander, and over there we have the old... We have the old thumbs up man. I was gonna say, say my name so I can put my thumb down, Ruben. please. The old Reuben. Old Reuben, Reuben. Like this Old Snake from Elgar Solid. Nope. I was just talking about nope. That. Um, this, this episode's, um, job lab. Oi. Uh, subject comes from Reddit. Yeah. From someone called, um, March Amides. Okay. What are your red flags that Should you notice? Mark Amides, some Mark Amides. Maybe Mark Amides. Uh, anyway, yeah. Anyway, what are your red flags that you notice when meeting new people? Um, I I find uh, that I know. Well, I suppose I'll do it in like the sense of like I know I'll actually get along with people, or I know I want to talk to them. Mm. Not like, oh my god, I need to stay away from you. You might stab me because that's that's quite extreme. Yeah. So just <laughs> you know, when I know I'm probably not gonna like like somebody that much. Yeah. Know, not even dislike, just not like them that much either. Mm -hmm. Um, when when I when I just sort of perceive them as being just a personality being completely fucking vapid when they are. When they love relatable Twitter content, and I'm just, ah, uh, mm, I know what you mean. You know, laughing at minions and stuff. Uh, that's what I know. It's a baffling concept to me that there are people out there who actually just adore all that shit. Minions. Yeah. I, I'm. I'm. Just, it's just such a meme for me at this point that I just cannot imagine it. Maybe, maybe just sort of casually liking them, but actually finding them really funny. Yeah. And, you, and you're not eight years old. Mm -hmm. Like, dude. Yeah, what was wrong with you? Are you okay? Yeah. You alright? Did something happen to you when you your favourite comedy, The Big Bang Theory? Uh, that's, that's when I can't. Just people, people who aren't... I just get fed up with people being, like, not critical in any way. Mm -hmm. That's when I'm just like, I know we aren't going to get along, because there's going to be a subject that comes up. Or people, And I don't even mean people that, like, like everything, or they're just like, you know, I just enjoy stuff, whatever it is. I mean, people that, like, people that, people with bad movie tastes, all right? Mm. And you'll say, no, that's a subjective thing. And it's like, well, I mean, I don't know. I, mean, I think if you, you like enough movies that everyone else says is bad, then you probably have a bad movie yeah. taste. And you don't like many of the movies. You can that like bad movies, but just good. appreciate that they're bad. Just, ugh. You know, there are people that don't have the same music taste as me, or people that don't have the same film taste as me. But, like, when when it's like that they like stuff that I just think it's just so shit and nothing. It's the kind of music mm -hmm. that is there for two weeks and gone, and then they have another song that comes in. Yeah, that bothers me. People that, that just like flag. sort of shite movies that are just there and they don't think about it ever again. They just watched it for like you know, an hour and a half, and that was it. Is that not most people? Though? I fucking hate most people. That's what we've established. Wow. Too edgy for me. Duh. Look at this edge lord over here in his fuck you leather jacket. Born in the wrong generation. <laughs> I love, I love Pink Floyd. Hmm. Mm. What else? Another brick in the wall. Shut up. What? What else? Wrong generation stuff. I just want to go. Let's go even further. I just want to go in diners and drink milkshakes and be a greaser. Look at me with my, my leather jacket and my hair that's back. Mm. It's not very big, but it's it's back. Also, I'm mixed race, so they, I'd I'd be hated in that era. So just awful. That's true. Anyway, red flags. Red flags. Outlines of a knife. Gun, anything, anything potentially dangerous. <laughs> yeah, um, could be something. Uh, uh, people that are super into drugs and shit. 
And then again, it's just weird because I don't. You don't tend to meet people that really put red flags up. Because like, I'm never gonna become super good friends with somebody that I immediately just am like nothing about. Nothing. But the question was just, say someone is just walking towards you on the street. What about that person? Would would they have to you know what boxes would they have to check to put up red flags for you? I don't know. Um, just look threatening. Look, look as threatening. what I look what I perceive as threatening. Yeah. If it's a group of like people I, who all think they're really cool um, and funny, yeah, that's normally when I'm just, I roll my eyes and I'm like, oh, there we go then. What funny comment are they going to come out with? Yeah. Well, mate, you lost your dog. That was the one. Years mm -hmm. he did that. Never understood it. Well, mate, you lost your dog. And this is when I was walking floss. At the time, literally walking floss. She was on the lead. I was mm -hmm. holding her. He said, "Oh, you mate, you lost your dog." I'm like what? No, she's she's there. It's like not even. It wasn't even an insult. No, you know, it wasn't even like, "Oh, your hair's gay, mate." It's like you. Lo it's a statement. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's an incorrect, false statement. It's not even funny. It wasn't like a his question. Little, his little mate was like, <laughs> "What are you laughing at? What is funny about that?" And every time he'd see me, he'd say it. And one time he said it to me, and I said, "Yeah, I actually did lose her." He was like, "Really? No." And he just walked off. That was it. <laughs> I've seen him before. He's got a kid now. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I can't so, make yeah. him anything like that. <laughs> you know, just fucking chavs. Just fucking chavs. Yeah. But what a ch what a chav is has changed now. Because do everything... Americans know what chavs are? I don't know. Council okay. housed in Google violent. it. Google it. Just yeah. C H A V. Yeah. Um. I'm not describing chavs to them. <laughs> it's kind of Delinquents. Because it's like, it's like change, because there are people I know that I wouldn't consider as chavs, but other people who are more ignorant might consider as chavs, just because they're like, maybe they wear trekkies. Mm. Google that as well. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> Track suits. <laughs> <laughs> I consider um, the, the chav thing when... It's a certain way of being. When you're just kind of an asshole to people. You don't respect anyone. Yeah. You just take everything for granted. Yeah. Probably got a child as well. Probably got a child, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, hanging because outside. Because it's weird around here, though. The chav has like started to die around mm. here. The chav. Yeah. As a, it used to be thing. bad. It used to be pretty bad for it around ago. here, yeah. It was shit. But now it's like, it's like fine, because a lot of them are grown up. And they're just yeah. kind of like whatever. You know, they're still obviously them. They still wear clothes that are a little bit reminiscent of yeah. what they used to. But they're just. I guess they just get on with we're stuff. out of their target zone, so we, mm. they would never even. But like, they don't have a target zone anymore. Is the thing. It's I guess it's all just kept to being in schools and shit. Yeah. For the most part. The so chav has died. It actually has died. Around here. Around here at least. Yeah, I'm sure it's really bad exist. in other places. Yeah. Which no, I'm so This glad whole about. town has just gotten better over the years. Yeah, it has, surprisingly. Because <coughs> anyway. I remember walking down the street and just seeing like people I knew were fucking chavs and being like, great, so now I've either got to just walk past them or find another way. Mm -hmm. Usually it was just fine another way because I just cannot be bothered to deal with them. I remember one time actually I was walking floss relatively like it was late-ish mm -hmm. um, And there were like three or four of these fucking chavs and they like come over and they like try and take floss the lead out of my hand mm -hmm. like, oh, Can I just have a go with your dog? Whatever. Like really weird. Yeah, I just didn't let just, them. Yeah. It was really, really fucking weird, though. Oh, I, I would not, you know, I would not be happy about that. If someone well, it's because they think they're so me. clever because it's like a big group of them, mm -hmm. and you can't, you can't fucking do shit, can you? I don't know. If you're Daredevil, I mean, yeah. If you're well, a if you're Daredevil, you've knocked them out like already half an if hour you, ago. If you're a cartoon <laughs> character, maybe. <laughs> I'm a cartoon character. Because like, they, really, they haven't done anything wrong. Cartoon Technically, character. they haven't done anything wrong. They're just, being pricks. they're just being cunts just because they can. It's the kind of stuff, though, that if the police did see it, they would still probably just, like, yeah. come on. Get off it. Yeah. Or, like, or move along now. Yeah. Or else. Yeah. Yeah, because they just know they're being pricks. Yeah. Disturbing public order. Mm hmm. Or just because I guess order. they just have such boring lives. They've got nothing better to do than just pester people and be fucking assholes. So, this, uh, this was meant to be about red flags. That's a, that's a red flag there. We just started talking about chavs. That's a red flag there. <laughs> if you see these chavvy looking people, you're going to fucking... Yeah. Well, they're yeah. saying that. Yeah. Though. There is someone who lives in this town who's covered in tattoos, big guy. He's got a fucking pit bull. Mm -hmm. Looks really intimidating. Yeah. But he's actually really nice. Yeah. The dog's really, really nice. <laughs> Perfectly trained. 
Yeah, just some people, they gravitate to the look, but it doesn't mean you have to be an asshole, does it? You yeah. Just... yeah. But then you never know, 10 years ago it might have been. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I know you people know. that have been like that, like in their youth they were cunts. And yeah. Now, you know, they're growing up and all that. And, yeah, a lot and of it. Like, and they feel really bad about some of the stuff they did. They're like, it was just awful. Yeah. But it's good when they actually feel bad about it, though. Mm-hmm. Instead of people that enjoy it. Yeah. They love it. I'm trying to think of more red flags now. I suppose, I mean, I'm trying to think of more of a level of, like, people, like, you know, when you just casually meet someone. If you're introduced to somebody. Yeah. There's but, like, it doesn't happen a lot for me, you know? And yeah. Usually I'm quite, like, whatever about everybody. And, like, okay, you exist. I think you figure out quite quickly. Yeah. If it's going to be someone you're you're interested in or not. Mm-hmm. You know, you're just uh, based on just the things they say. Yeah. What they're saying. Well, yeah, because obviously we make a first impression within about 15 seconds. Mm-hmm. So everyone's first impression of me probably is awful. Why would it be awful? Because I always look intimidating or, or unhappy. <laughs> and then occasionally crack a smile and I don't look like that. Then it's gone again. Like as quickly as it was there, it's gone. And then it's back to everyone thinking I'm intimidating. Which is actually a fact. I know that. I know that people think that about me. Really? Yeah. you heard like, it through, from the horse's mouth, have you? Yes, I've heard it from many people, actually. And it's like, I'm not really trying to be. Just kind of look like this. Yeah. That's it. But I have a feeling that I might be quite approachable. Because whenever I'm in the city, just random people just come up to me all the time asking me shit. Oh, you're a fresh-faced young white kid with blonde mm. hair. Yep. Yep. Blue... Blue eyes, blonde hair, very approachable. Mm. Big chubby cheeks with a big smile. <laughs> oh, I feel. Look at this. Look at these things. <laughs> it's awful. I don't even have a fucking jawline. So yeah, this is a really hard subject because it, it's just you, you really do very quickly work out stuff about people. Yeah, I can't think what there's specific phys- there's flags physical are. attributes. It's just because it's like it becomes really subjective, doesn't it? It, it, it or yeah, it's it's like it's not fair. It's actually quite horrible the way we decide whether like we're quite quickly whether someone's alright yeah. or not. You know, obviously consciously you're like, you no, know, give them a chance, hmm. but you still might have like a thing there from your yeah. initial impression of them. Like you can tell when people aren't interested because they'll gradually start, they'll, they'll they'll face away from you mm-hmm. and they'll start kind of walking. Yeah, almost. or they're not really going to respond to you very much. Yes, yeah, it's, it's all very yeah obvious. But then, I suppose I'm thinking about just going on. I'm talking about first impressions now. Like my ex girlfriend, for example, we didn't get along at all. Like from like I didn't know her in year seven. Mm. But then from like I knew of her by the end of year eight And from between year eight and year Like towards the end of year eleven All the way through until the end of year eleven We did not get along She fucking despised me <laughs> Yeah 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 And then we went full circle I'm pretty sure that's not how it went Anyway but yeah that's just <laughs> First impressions I guess sometimes they, you can't You do People do just override them or whatever By actually speaking to somebody Yeah Because we never once had a fucking conversation she mm-hmm. just hated me without cause, really. Yeah. That's a lot of what school is, though, isn't mm-hmm. it? Yeah. I had lots... I'm trying to think. You hear things about I that just guy, didn't. I just see. didn't give a shit about people. Yeah. I got so fed up so quickly. Uh, do you think, like, things like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat and chat and shit have actually changed some of this first impression stuff? Because yeah. if it just starts with text, what do you have to go off? You mm-hmm. don't have any body language, you don't have any mm-hmm. eye contact or anything. Yeah, I'm not too fond of it, but it's just the way it is now. But do, but do, do you think it can actually lead to people who never would have spoken to actually sort of speak to people, speak to each other, like find people that they actually really do get on with? Uh, yeah, I'd say so because I can think of examples of people that I know yeah. now. Yeah, but it's not all bad, is it? It's not the worst. Shout out to uh, Discord. Yep, cringe cord. I wouldn't I've recommend got, it. I've got three three allies there. Three allies. Three loyal allies. You know, there are other people that are right, but I've got three. <laughs> and then me. So for, together we are... The quad. We're Delta squad from Gears of War. Mm-hmm. Delta, let's do something. Giant worm. <laughs> yep. I think that subject's gone full course. Yeah. That Give was, us your... That what, was hard. I don't know what... Yeah, that's quite an interesting one, though. What do you reckon in the comments? Well, I always... I'm obsessed with, like, trying to stay focused on the question now, but, like... You just can't. People don't even expect it of us anyway, do they anymore? Not always. When it's something like this, it's the kind of thing that just trails off mm-hmm. into the distance. Well, we, we're just like a channel for people to put on in the background. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah! So they can imagine sitting in the corner. Well, it's like 
Yeah, it's like, like the reason I watch Game Grumps. They're just friendly voices to listen to, and I, yeah. li- I like them. Yeah. That's it. That's English why Game Grumps. Yeah, apart from we don't play any games. We don't play games, no. Maybe we should. Should we tap into the game market? Let us know. Yeah. <laughs> Three views on our uh, Minecraft Let's Play of 78. <laughs> Let's make a new channel. The adventure channel. begins. Let's make a new channel, Jar Plays. Make a whole new channel for it. Oh, yeah? Uh, and have those daily uploads that get 17 views a video. Hell <laughs> yeah, <laughs> boy. Thanks for the question from Reddit. Go there and go to the mega thread and post shit. Um, that's where we normally get them. I'm just going to make a dick on the uh, feed. Ah! Uh, not really a dick. Yeah, more of like a... How hammer. A sex something. toy thing. It could be a butt plug, mm. actually. Just a really thin one. So yeah, maybe I'm like I'm one done of those, for this one. <laughs> like rabbit things, but not rabbits. The like just uh, vibrating. You know, it's just like a stick with a vibrating. Like, mm, I yeah, I'm very what, I can't remember intimately what, familiar with those. Shut up, Alex. I don't know what they're called though. I don't know either. I just just spouting words at this point, waiting for you to end it. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna remember <laughs> it. So, bye everyone. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, the Jar Blob.